This is my setup for uh, cleaning out the bore on the Simat 101. Basically I'm just cleaning it out with a little hand reamer. It is MT0 uh, taper. I don't want to uh, enlarge it really uh, otherwise the uh, tools won't fit and I don't think I can ream it out enough to take a standard. It takes a truncated MT0. I've managed to get, I've been filing a tap handle uh, so that the square hole able to take uh, the end of the reamer. I've managed to just get it in far enough so that the centre, if I pull that out, if I back this off, what you'll see is that there's a, a centre in there. Uh, if I rest that on there, you'll see it better. And that centre, and then if I just gently ease the tape, the, uh, the reamer out, so the reamer's just just catching there, just gently touching the inside. I take the centre up. That finds the centre of the uh, end of the reamer, just holds it true. Uh, there's not much tension on there. And then what I can do is just turn, because the handle will stop the reamer turning. Just turn this by hand and maybe just give a little bit more pressure on that and turn that by hand again. That's turning uh, nicely on the reamer. And all I'm doing is just cleaning up the inside of that, removing any the surface rust and all sorts on the outside. There's no reason to believe there's any. I didn't have a bore scope or anything down there, uh, but that should clean it up nicely. Right. I don't want to overdo it. I can always come back and do it again. Now, if I back that off and then oh, slide the whole thing back. Ah, locked in too much. Can I ease that out? Oh. Hold on. With the tailstock moved back, it's possible to remove the reamer. I'm just looking to see if it's picked up much. I don't think I've cut any metal from the inside of there. Now, the, um, the centre that goes in is one that's designed for the machine. That's a truncated MT0. That seems to fit in there quite nicely. In fact, I have to drift it out if I push it in. It, it does grip quite well. Uh, in fact, it wouldn't hurt to give that a little clean with some wire wool or something. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Now, here's an arbor from RGD MT0. But when that goes in, Nope, the it's not the bearings. It is actually there is actually some play. <sighs> yeah, it's rocking. And so I've not uh, reamed this other end. That tape, that centre was in there nicely. Right. I wonder if that is actually properly ground to MT0 taper. Certainly at the bottom end, it might be the top end is to MT0. Now, I do have a 0 to 1 inch micrometer, but I'm not going to attempt to get the circular faces of a micrometer onto a cone to measure the thick and thin end of this taper. Uh, what I want to use is my uh, calipers. I've got some cheap digital calipers. Uh, but, you know, I, I, let's trust their accuracy. The battery's flat. Uh, and the reason I want to use those is because at the end of the calipers they have that knife edge, that sharp little knife edge. So if I can uh, quietly touch that on at the thick and the thin end, I can see if this falls within spec as far as those two measurements are concerned. Um, because this, if it was right, 
and had been ground properly would form my master for setting the tool up the lathe up to do some taper turning uh, to make some other devices what I can do I guess is check the dimensions of this and compare it with the reamer and hope that the reamer has been manufactured to a true MT0 taper but that is from RGD tools I bought it uh, along with a chip chip chuck and that has an M12 uh, thread on the end there and the advantage of that is that because the spindle nose on the um, on this doesn't take union marks and other chucks is that uh, I, I could take then anything with an M12 but see how the full length MT0 taper protrudes too far from the spindle nose well there's two problems with this firstly this particular one there's play in it you definitely don't want that but there's quite a lot of overhang as well and I don't want something that's going to have overhang uh, putting additional forces and stresses in places where you don't want them I want it uh, flush up I know with a chuck it should be ground well turned and catch against the seat of the nose so it is much very much a pledge to use some other tooling but even if it was going to be something like a drill chuck um, then I could put the drill chuck into the tailstock using uh, an MT0 I've marked that where I want to pull it out that was that's all um, I've cleaned out the hole and I think my ground uh, component isn't truly empty zero we'll just have to see